Joining me now from Washington, D.C., senior fellow at the Atlantic Council, Ariel Cohen, Ph.D. Ariel, Iranian aggression. We have to get to the root of the, of the issue here. Why is Iran lashing out right now? Seems to me when you piece it all together, they've taken out a U.S. drone. Uh, we didn't use a military response. Uh, of course, this oil field attack, they're seizing tankers, they're pirating tankers, they're getting very aggressive. We know that they had a nuclear facility that was there one day, wiped off the map the next, uh, because they were caught apparently red-handed trying to develop a nuclear weapon. So the question is, why are they lashing out right now? Could it be they're trying to drive up the price per gallon of oil because this is their only means of income? Why? Well, what happened was amazing on so many levels. First of all, this was an unabashed act of aggression. So under the international law, uh, Iran needs to be punished as an aggressor. And next week, uh, the uh, United Nations General Assembly is starting. We shall see if the United Nations is going to step to the plate. I doubt it. And if they don't, if they don't uh, resist aggression, it means the United Nations is bankrupt. Secondly, this is an attack on a close American ally, Saudi Arabia. 9-11 story is 18 years behind us. Uh, and um, they took out pretty much half of all of their economy because Saudi Arabia does not produce anything but oil right. and some dates. Right. And you cannot survive on dates. Uh, so imagine if, God forbid, half of our economy was taken out by missiles from Russia and China. Guess what would happen next? And yet, President Trump does not want to risk American lives, wants Iran to come to its senses, and Iran doesn't. Why? You ask a very good question. Because Iranian religion-based ideology, hatred of America, hatred of Israel, is driving them right into the wall. Okay, so it's the, that theocracy. Mark my words. Theocracy is, is... Mark my words. They'll, they'll attack Saudi Arabia, possibly Israel, and maybe, God forbid, okay, so, American bases. So this well. is next, right? But we know Iran's history, right? They don't respond all that well to financial attacks. They respond to military attacks, right? And we know this from our history. Absolutely. 1988, Ronald Reagan... Uh, took out what amounted to the Iranian uh, Navy at the time. He certainly uh, made a statement by sinking one of the warships after it got aggressive. Is, in the end, is this the option, the only option that Iran will respect and respond to? Yes, and look what happened in the meantime. The main Iranian hawk, uh, National Security Advisor John Bolton, was replaced by a hostage neg negotiator. Uh, look what happens next. The uh, carrier uh, battle group uh, with the um, uh, aircraft carrier Harry Truman is deployed without the flat top, without the uh, aircraft carrier. The Iranians are interpreting all these things as signs of weakness. At some point, we need to start talking the language they understand, which is the language of force they need to understand that all the targets that are close to their regime's heart, not people, not population centers, but the targets that the regime values most, like the Hart Island oil terminal, like the nuclear program that is still intact, thanks to President Obama. That program was not shut down. That Those targets need to be in play, and they need to know that in the escalation domination game, who escalates more, the United States will always win. This, so in other words, you're saying that the United States at some point has got to have some sort of limited strike, not an all-out war per se, but a limited surgical strike against Iran. Otherwise, all of this is going to continue and it's going to escalate. Look, look at my scenario, and I wargamed it 10 years ago. If they continue hitting the Saudi oil fields, guess what? Saudis and us and Europeans and Japanese will run out of the strategic petroleum reserves. We'll, we will run out of our oil that we're dumping desperately on the market to prevent the oil prices from shooting up. It went up 10% yep. and everybody yawned. 30 years ago, it would be a major economic world disaster. 
today, everybody yawn. Tomorrow, if they keep pounding Saudi Arabia uh, oil fields and uh, important uh, oil facilities, like the one they hit in Abu Qaik, they will uh, drive the oil prices way up and cause a global recession. Clearly, President Trump is trying to avoid that. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.